everyone, this is Stephanie Arnold from Healing Crystals here. One thing that my family likes to do at Christmas time is to go see Santa. Now my kids are getting a little old for this, but my dog Pepper, she still likes to go do this and I like to have the pictures around my house. So we're getting ready to go do that today. And one thing I like to do to prepare her for that, because it is meeting a stranger and somebody she's not used to, is I like to give her some water that's been charged with crystals the night before. So I've charged some crystals with, or some water for her last night with blue lace agate, rose quartz, and some lithium quartz to kind of have a calming effect on her today and give her a calming energy so she's not hyper or not too excited or anxious when she gets there. Now, I'm going to be carrying some crystals with me today in my pockets because this will also help to have an effect on her when she's there. These are the crystals I'm taking with me today. Lithium quartz, moss agate, green quartz, and rose quartz. Now, because I'm her owner and she's very close to me and spends a lot of time with me, she'll be standing next to me and easily be able to feel the energy coming from my pockets, which is about the height of her head anyway. Um, another thing you can do if you have a smaller dog or something like that is you can, um, if your dog wears a sweater, you can attach crystals to the sweater for your dog or um, sometimes you can put a keychain on your dog, but this doesn't work for dogs that jump around a lot or tend to be hyper as they might easily be able to rip it off. So um, an older dog or something like that, that would work for. So you'll need to judge on an individual basis if this method will work for your pet. I hope you find this informational. If you're looking for more on crystals, you can visit us at HealingCrystals.com. Peace, love, and light.